we all know this place. Yes, exactly. Salvan Corp Factory. However, you are probably wondering how did all of this come to be? And that is what I am here to show you. We will now explore the history of Salvan Corp from the first block to the massive corporation that it is today. It all started when I was only 10 years old, living in Palatine. One day I decided to say goodbye to my mother and go out in the world to catch all the ores and become the number one Minecraft master. Uh, this sounds wrong. Oh right, that's another story. Right, my bad. Uh, let's try this again. I was in my early twenties and decided that I would seek fame and fortune through building a massive corporation from the foundation up. So I set out and travelled through the massive swamps filled with all the world's horrors. Then I had to traverse the freezing winterlands of the high hills, across the mighty deserts where the sun is your most fearsome enemy, over giant mountains and through the deepest jungles until finally, one day, I set upon an area which I found had all that I could wish for, to build my fortune. And this is where we are today. So, as you can see, I've been scouting through the landscapes, and I've set upon this land that holds, as you can see, some good lava geysers, some oil, we got a nice jungle back there and some trees over here as well. So we're pretty much set here in this nice little area. It took me quite a while to find, but this definitely looks like an area where we want to set up the beginning of our factory. Uh, the first few building blocks, we could call it. <coughs> now we do not want to, to run too much because for right now, we don't really have any food. As we can see, we're completely bare-boned. I used all my supplies to find this place. But now that I have found it, well, I couldn't wish for more. I gotta be honest, this is the epitome of factory building starting areas. So this is where we're gonna l start out. Now let's start by gathering some wood, as, as any good Minecraft entrepreneur would know it all starts with getting wood so I'm just gonna gonna get some wood so as as we do that we can we can kinda start setting the first goal for ourselves now what do we want to do first what is the first priority for us in these barren lands and I'd say setting up our our little small base of, of operations would be a good start because we we wouldn't want to get killed in the night or in the day for that matter but but most mostly we wouldn't want to get killed in the night so we're gonna set up a little base we're gonna get some wood just gonna finish this tree off and then we're gonna gonna make ourselves some tools so we can gather wood faster because wood is one of those materials much like coal that you always need so let's just turn this into planks real quick make ourselves a crafting table some sticks and then plonk that down here we shall then proceed to make ourselves a pickaxe a wooden pickaxe time to man yes indeed so you might have noticed on the minimap there's this strange egg formation over here now this is also one of the reasons why I chose this area because this has to be the most amazing hole I have ever seen. This is completely world generated by the way. There's uranium, there's emerald, there's coal, there's iron, and there's copper, and of course a, a hole in there. And I, I, I will emphasize, this is completely world generated. I did not have anything to do with creating this hole. That is a promise from me to you, so whether or not you will take my word for it is up to you. But but that is the word of me. Anyway, I'll start off by checking in here. It looks like th this might be connected to some sort of underground tunnels. Yep, let's hope it is anyway, because this that would be nice for us to sort of come to this area to then later uh, explore some, some deep caves, go spelunking and whatnot to get some more materials for which 
with which to build our empire upon. But, as with any start, it is a process that takes time, and time is what we're going to give it. So we're going to start off by gathering some cobalt, uh, not some cobalt, some cobblestone, and then turn that into our starting tools. Now, I like to use my wooden pick because either I use it or I have to throw it away. Because having a wooden pick in my inventory is not acceptable. So I'm just going to use it to mine all of this cobblestone. Get as much cobblestone with the wooden pick as we can, so to speak. So I will just continue on mining cobblestone with this wooden pick. And then we will pick up as soon as the pick has broken down. Yes, indeed. So I will be right back. There we go, the pick is broken, so let us return to the surface. Actually, let us not, because that's such a long run. Oh, and we actually picked this one up. I didn't think we did. So let's plop down our crafting table, make ourselves two cobblestone pickaxes, a cobblestone axe, a cobblestone shovel, and of course a cobblestone sword. And now these are our beginner tools. We're going to sort them out as I would sort them. So we're going to have that one there, that one there, and that one there. There we go. So quickly pick this up, and then we can gather some of this coal in this amazing hole. Yep, yeah, definitely looks like it's connected to a cave somewhere. Somehow, somewhere, there is a cave. But first of all, we're going to collect this coal now, instead of me jumping to the finish, how about we do some, some quick mining right here? And that is what we're going to do. So we have the creeper in the distance. Let us let us do battle with the creeper. Hello, creeper. I'm Salwin. Shall we do battle? Whoop, 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 whoop. He doesn't really seem interested in me, does he? Maybe he's heard heard of Salwin from his some friends. It's like, do not mess with that guy. He has like a saber and shit. But I don't really have a saber right now, so I'm gonna gonna treat him with care. Oh snap, dude fell to his death. Alright, so, back to coal mining. Alright, so we gathered coal now, we gathered cobblestone, and we have gathered some wood, but I'm not quite satisfied with the amount of wood we have gathered up to this point. So let us go back. Actually, looks like the sun has set and the crickets are chirping away in the background. So let's quickly run over here. I think this would be a, a suitable place for a a temporary little base. So, oh, oh, see what I did there? All right. So we will smack down some blocks of wood here. Oh, actually, one thing we did forget was to go look for some wool in order for us to make bed Zzz. or a bed. Rather, I don't really need multiple beds, as I am not. Oh, well, th thank you, Mr. Wolf. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Roro to you as well. Yes, indeed. So he 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 heard me. He heard me saying that I lacked wool, and he was well quick to the rescue. So we'll remember him and reward him with a bone, if at any point we have any. I think we'll quickly just put on a marble roof on our little makeshift shack, and then we 
you shall hide in here through the first night. Yes, we shall block off, block off the doorway. And there we go. I will see you guys on the other side. Alright guys, the night has passed, but it seems we have a uh, an unwelcome guest and he sounds angry. He does sound angry, let's hope he isn't. Let's hope he's in a in a fiercely good mood. Hey buddy, are you mad at me? You're not mad at me, no. Oh shit, shit! Oh, oh. He was mad at me though. I mean, that's quite obvious, he just blew up. Furious with rage. Blew himself up. I mean, that is just... That is just crazy. Blowing yourself up and shit? I mean, who does that? Who blows himself up? I mean, that is just... You, you gotta be some kind of lunatic. Yeah. Yeah. Very topical. Well, not very topical. Because I don't watch the news, so I don't know if anyone's blown themselves up recently, but yeah. There is that. That is a thing that there is. Let's just gather some of this wood. This, this tree is going to be floating. I can't have that. I cannot have that. It bugs me too much. So we're going to jump up here and chop down the last of the... Jesus, crikey, that is a like really, really tall tree. I just watched uh, some of the Crocodile Hunter. So, for some reason I felt the need to say crikey. It's just how it is. Come, oh, come on now. I mean, this is just ridiculous. There we go. Alright then. Almost chopped down this tree. Almost chopped down this tree. Is there any more? Yeah, there's wood right there. Bang. Oh, more? Are you? Jesus Christ. What the hell kind of tree is this? Just put wood everywhere? I mean, what the hell? I mean, I, I, I realized that it's going to be a tree trunk, but tree trunk branches? I mean, Jesus. Going overboard much here. Let's chop that one down. It's just... Ow, ow, ow. I broke a leg. So, hopefully I got it. Oh, Jesus. I, I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. Because I can't have floating trees. OCD and all that. Can't have floating trees around. Just bash out a few leaves to check for more wood. Looks like we might be okay now, though. Yep, 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 yep. We look okay. Ow! Oh. We need to find some food and we need to find some sheep so we can gather some wool for a bed. Because the nights are long without beds. I mean, I, I started getting hungry through this night. So I, I don't even dare to think what will happen the next night. So let us kill kill a few piggies. Now one of the fun things about piggies is if, if you hit them more than once, they will start to run towards you if we do this. You see? So I can basically just do this and he will keep running towards me. He will not try to run away the second time I hit him. It's quite funny that. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the AI of this game when pigs try to run to this source of which the pain is, is coming from. But whatever. Ooh, black sheep. You know what? I've always liked black sheep. I mean... I, I could be considered the black sheep of the family, so I'm, I'm going to let that guy live. Yes, I like you. I don't like you, though, stupid white sheeps. I mean, thinking they're better than everyone else, what the hell is that about? Black sheeps are just as good as white sheeps. Yeah, they're even better, actually, because I killed all the others. So, t on this day, being a black sheep is preferable. Archer thinking he's a bad boy. Ow, he really is. He hurts. He hurts indeed. Alright. It looks like we have enough materials now to just finish off our little shack instead of this ugly, ugly marble roof. We'll put in a, a quite temporary tiny wooden roof on our tiny temporary, temporary tiny, tiny shack. 
so let's just put this up. We'll make it three tall just because, I mean, I prefer that. And we'll make it uneven because, well, OCD only applies to so many things in life. Like trees, for example. Houses can be as uneven as they please in my book. So that's, that's how we're going to do that. Anyway, let's plop down this roof. Oh, we'll have to fix that from the outside. Let's see. Whoop, whoop. There we go. And plop in one there. There we go. And drop this side. Almost there. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice indeed. And this does mean though that we can use the workbench from outside, which is completely nifty. Oh Jesus. This is a very, very small cabin. But then again, I mean, you don't need much when it's and when it's just for for sleeping and and the, uh, the 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 smallest of crafting. We can plop some of that in there, and then we can make some torches out of these ones. There we go. Looks like we got the basics. So we'll put down the torches there, torches there, and then we shall build a bed. Much like build a bear instead, in, uh, except you're building beds. So there we go. We have our whoops. We have our bed. We have our little tiny shack in the forest. And I think that's where we're going to end it for today. So thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, have a good day.